What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday, and we're going to start a new segment. Each week, we are going to do a little chit chat for Wednesdays to break up the week. We're going to talk about kitchen gadgets. We're going to talk about cookware, cooking, recipes coming up, what me and Eric are doing in the kitchen, and I'm going to answer some of your questions. So join me for What's Up Wednesday. So guys, I figured I'd just get on um, once a week in the middle of the week so we can chat a little bit about some of the things that are going on in the cooking world, some things that are going on on my Facebook page and in the comments. And we're going to talk about gadgets and stuff, things that I've gotten during the week or maybe stuff from the pan room. So this week I have a couple new gadgets, plus I have a lot of things going on in my Facebook group that has been quite interesting. If you're not in my Facebook group, come check it out. It's obviously facebook.com slash amylearnstocook. Send me a um, request and um, join in on the conversation, right? We have a lot of fun in our Facebook group. So... Some of the things that have been going on have been interesting. Um, we have a lot of new members. I just want to welcome everybody that has joined. Um, today, we just added like eight new members. Um, yesterday, we added six. So the group is growing. And I really appreciate that you found us and that you joined the group. And um, looking forward to what you guys have to talk about in terms of our kitchen gadgets, right? So what's going on right now in the Facebook group? I, uh, one of my friends who is a fellow mixer geek like me, um, posted a new mixer coming out by Kenmore. And it looks very interesting because it's huge. It has a glass bowl and a glass pouring shield that makes a, uh, a solid unit and you add ingredients by pouring it through the top of the mixer. There's like a hole in the top of the mixer and it has a funnel that apparently you can take out and wash and um, you pour ingredients through the top of the mixer. And when I first saw this, I was like shocked because number one, we haven't seen much out of Kenmore, especially since they're having so many issues. I'm surprised that they're coming out with a new product. But when I first saw this mixer, I was like, wow, I gotta have one of those, right? Everybody sort of jumped on and they were like, unbelievable. I showed Eric this and first thing he said was, you know, there you go, you want another mixer, right? <laughs> but, you know, I can't say that I don't want it. You never know what might come along. It's not released until July 17th, which is kind of interesting that they're like giving us this preview of it. And then, but you have to, they're taking pre-order. So I guess they're just teasing us, right? So the new mixer is a Kenmore Ovation. So kind of interesting we'll see how it is huh um first thing when i saw this posted on the facebook group i just basically started screaming and eric was like what and i said look there's a new mixer coming out from kenmore and um he uh he looked at me like oh, okay now we're gonna get another mixer right the problem is Amy tried to justify, ooh, we get a hundred bucks back on it. You did get a hundred bucks back on it, but the deal is kind of weird because they have this point system. So they're gonna give you a hundred, the mixer's listed at $499, no, $399. No, $449. $449. And the deal is that you get a hundred bucks back in points. And this is and this is coming back to you on some shop my way uh, card that you have. I guess it's like a frequent it, shopper card or something. Well, well yeah, it's, it's what you use when you buy online through Sears, right? Because we want to accumulate points and get money back. You get, I don't know, 1% back or something. So if you buy it, you get a whopping $4.50 back, but then you get the <clears throat> bonus money. So the bonus money is basically 25 points per month for the next four months. On, so the, <laughs> on the 30th of every <laughs> month. And this is the kicker. The $25 worth of points expires in 30 days. 
So you have to basically, they're trying to get you back in there once a month for the next four months to use your $25 points because they know you're going to spend more than $25. Can I get gift cards? <laughs> no gift cards. <laughs> Can I get new router bits? Well, you could get a router bit, maybe. You know what Amy said? She wanted pans. <laughs> yeah, I said pans. Yeah, I told Eric that I could use it on pans, and he was like, what? Yeah. So, <laughs> some other stuff that's been going on in the um, Facebook group. I recently appeared on a podcast with Cooking with Doug. If you're in either my channel in YouTube or in my Facebook group, there's a link to it. It was a lot of fun. Everybody in that group is... Um, is a kitchen gadget freak just like I am, so we had a good time. So my most recent videos, we did a creme brulee. It was absolutely fantastic. I had only made a creme brulee twice before in my life. I took a cooking class at a culinary school and we made creme brulee in that class. I made it one other time before and um, I made it again and Eric just, Eric actually ate eight of those things. Yes. Yeah, All got, in one sitting. Yeah, I still got four to go. Yeah. We, we made two batches because we made one batch that I had refrigerated for the magic of TV, right? And another batch we put in the refrigerator so we didn't have to have this delay in taping. And so I pretty much had 12 of them. And Eric ate eight. Well, I need a room in the fridge. <laughs> they must have been pretty good if he ate 12 or eight of them, right? We also recently did a smothered chicken and vegetables in the Kasori multi-cooker. Let me tell you, I love that little thing. The multi-cooker worked great and the smothered chicken turned out really, really good. So a few questions I've been asked in the, um, in the group is, a lot of people have questions about the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot or any other kind of pressure cooker, electric pressure cooker, because these things basically has exploded on the scene, right? Everybody is getting an Instant Pot or an equivalent, um, and they're a lot of fun, but they're also, when you first get it, there's a little bit of a learning curve, because one, we always think about the pressure cooker as being the old stovetop ones that, you know, blow the lid off, where these new uh, electric ones don't really do that. Um, some questions I got about is, what do I do? I just bought one. And my advice is, read through your manual, run your water test, and then run a simple recipe. So you get sort of familiar with using the pot, how the pressure works and all that fun stuff. So do some basic rice. Do a one-to-one -one ratio with the rice and the water, a little bit of salt, throw it on the rice setting and let it go. When it's done, let it naturally release for about 10 minutes and then release the rest of the pressure. It's a great basic recipe to get you familiar with how your cooker works and it comes out great every single time. So one to one on rice, a little bit of salt, run it on the rice setting, um, naturally release for about 10 minutes, then manually release it and then you will have some great rice. Okay, so let's go over really quick to the comments on um, the Amy Learns to Cook channel. Um, I've got tons of comments on, as usual, the scrambled egg video. I don't know if you guys have seen the scrambled egg video. I'll put a link to it down in the description. I did this video several years ago, and I can tell you that it was at the beginning of my doing videos, and um, when I watch it now, I'm like, wow, I didn't color correct anything. I, we did all these things wrong in it. But it, the process and the technique for uh, making the scrambled eggs is absolutely fantastic. You get this big fluffy plate of scrambled eggs and it is delicious. I always get comments about the scrambled eggs. One of the things I can tell you with that is scrambled eggs are a matter of taste. If you like them, cooked to hard, if you like them totally soft, that's just a matter of preference. But the technique works regardless of um, how you like them cooked. So 
you know, I'm not here to tell anybody how they should cook their scrambled eggs in terms of doneness. What I can say is, you know, that's what you learn when you, you know, as your cooking progresses, it's you learn to do things the way you like it. And recipes are pretty much just suggestions. So play with it and make the eggs that you love, right? So I've received a lot of requests for a lot of different mixers. Um, I wish I could do videos on every single mixer. Um, you guys know I like to do videos on every single mixer. One issue has come up is someone posted about the Farberware mixer. And if you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Pretty much, <laughs> Farberware has come up with the stand mixer and they're selling it at Walmart. I got mine for uh, $50, but right now they're selling it for about $100. Um, and it has suction cups on the bottom, which I generally don't like, but on that mixer, it really keeps it down on the counter. And someone had mentioned that they went to their Walmart and the ones there didn't have suction cups. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So me and Eric went over to our local Walmart and sure enough, the ones on the shelf did not have suction cups. Amy investigation. Amy investigation, right? Dun, no, dun, 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 no, <laughs> no suction cups on the Farberware mixer. So I don't know what that is going to do to my review of it. I don't know what else they changed on that mixer. I really hope they didn't change much because that Farberware rocked it, right? And if I look at it, I see no suction cups on it. I'm a little worried about something whether something has changed with that mixer. Um, hmm, I don't know. If it happens to go on sale like that again, I will snatch up another one, right? Um, don't know if I will at $100 because I already have one. But, you know, uh, with Black Friday coming around, uh, don't they have Black Friday in July or something? Maybe. Maybe against, because um, Amazon's doing something like that. Prime Day or something. Prime Day. So they have their version of Prime Day. Maybe one of those will go back on sale. Um, sure wish I could possibly do another test on it to see if that still holds true. But that would kind of disappoint me. Well, it would actually really disappoint me if they made significant changes to that mixer because... Um, you know, I really liked it. I don't think it was the most attractive thing in the world, but, you know, I think it performed pretty well, so. For mixers under $100, <laughs> it was actually one of your best performers. It, it has been. For my mixers under $100, it has absolutely 100% been the best performer um, so far. So we'll see. I don't know. I, I would, I would, um, I would be, you know, sad if they make some changes with it. Um, let's see, the Bosch nine loaf challenge that I did recently, people ask if I have, you know, if they have service centers for Bosch in other countries. I don't know about that. You'll probably have to talk to Bosch about that. Um, or you probably could look on their website. So There's a lot of people that have asked me about the Bosch versus the Kenwood. And they want to see a test of the Bosch and the Kenwood. And, I mean, I don't know about that. You think we should put those two mixers against each other? What do they want to see done? I mean, I'm only concerned about it is it's sort of like two different animals. Like the Bosch is for different kind of batches than the Kenwood. I think the Kenwood, you know, runs in the KitchenAid sort of crowd. It is, I think it's slightly better than the Artisan. I would pick the Kenwood over the Artisan if it wasn't, you know, if I didn't want any attachments. Because KitchenAid definitely has more attachments, but if I wasn't concerned about that, I probably would choose the Kenwood Chef Titanium over the um, Artisan. But I, against the Bosch, I think it, it, I don't know. I don't necessarily think that that's really a good matchup. I could see the Ink or the uh, KitchenAid commercial. Yeah, but 
against the Kenwood, at least the Kenwood I have. I have the five core Kenwood. I don't have the seven core Kenwood. I would love to have the cooking chef, Kenwood cooking chef. It's got a heater in that sucker. I do have a mixer coming up that does have a built-in cooker in it. And I do plan to do a um, review on that. But the Kenwood cooking chef, I really would like to get my hands on one of those, but they're like a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's why we have microwave oven floors. <laughs> if I came home with a thousand dollar mixer, another thousand dollar mixer, I don't know what Eric would do to me. I don't know. I think I need a GoFundMe site to pay my <laughs> rent to house all these uh, mixers. <clears throat> yeah, um, I do have a, I do have a mixer coming up that you guys are going to be amazed at. And I had it on the back of the counter a few times and people have made comments about it, but it is coming up potentially next week end. Um, and you're gonna be amazed by it. You're gonna be amazed by it. Okay, so. You wanna spell a hint what it's related to? It's related to the Hindenburg. <laughs> okay so thanks for your comments guys um if you want to i'm going to leave a link down in the description for my facebook page come on over and join the conversation so what did i get this week you guys see this happy box sitting next to me right and happy boxes are always happy to me i got a few things from amazon i figure i'd show you them um Instead of doing like a full unboxing video, I just figured I'd show them. So each week when we do What's Up Wednesday, I'm going to show you either something that I got new, a little gadget, or I'm going to show you something from the pan room. Um, I have a lot of things to draw from, or we're going to look at some cookbooks as well. Um, I do have a video coming up about cookbooks. I got several, so stay tuned for that. So what do you think I have in this box? It scares Eric. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I have is look at this. Woo! -hoo -hoo. This is a bunt pan. It's the Fleur de Lis, right? I don't know how to say it. Um, I'll put a link down there so you know what I'm talking about. This bunt pan is adorable right look at the it's nordic wear so that means it's good right it's nordic wear and look at the shape on that bad boy i just think that is beautiful and it is this beautiful gold color um let me see do they give me a recipe in here they usually do no no recipe um what does this say on here it doesn't say how many cups this thing is Oh, it's a 10 cup. So this is a 10 cup. So it should fit a regular bunt pan recipe. So it's the Fleur de Lis. Is that how you say it? I'd have to watch a Pink Panther movie <laughs> before I start butchering French language. <laughs> okay, gadget number two. This is kind of interesting. I haven't seen this before. I've seen, I have Silpat liners. Silpat liners are basically silicone liners that are similar to parchment paper, but you can reuse them, unlike parchment paper, right? You throw it out. Silicone, and they're really popular, the Silpat liners. So we have the Adorn 9-inch round mat set of two. And let me get these bad boys open. I thought this was really interesting because I've never seen silk pads that fit into a nine inch cake pan. And what's also interesting about this is I was wondering if these would fit inside my air fryer. <laughs> so you have a set of two, you can put them into your nine inch cake pan and um, so you don't have to cut parchment paper rounds. You can buy parchment paper rounds, but that's just a separate thing you have to buy all the time. You could use these um, parchment liners instead. I thought those were kind of neat. So those are the Adorn 
nine inch round mats set of two. Heat resistant to 480 degrees. Um, can be used on a baking tray for indirect uh, cooking, wash with hot or soapy water and they're dishwasher safe. So what else do I have in here? I got one, one last thing. Now this thing, oh my gosh. This thing has been going around the web for quite some time and I'm surprised I'm just getting one of these. Um, you guys know how much it can be a pain to break up ground meat or sausage in the pan. So you have this big clump of meat and you're trying to break it up with a spoon, right? Well, these things have come out to try to help with that. This is a meat chopper. It's a meat chopper. Basically, this thing helps you chop the meat, right? A lot of people have been getting these and I wanted to try it. They're not really that expensive. They're only a couple bucks. And um, I figured I would give it a try. Let's see. So here's our meat chopper and it's got like this spirally chopper thing. And when you're in breaking up your ground meat, you just do this. And you're saying that does a better job than a big old spatula yes. or a spoon. Yes. It so. does a thousand times better. It's like, some of these are called chopping something. They work a thousand times better. The next time I do something with ground meat um, on a video, I will show you how this thing works. These things are fantabulous. This one here is the Good Cook Meat Chopper. The Good Cook Meat Chopper. And um, this thing is fabulous. So guys, these are my new little toys for this week or some of the things that we're gonna talk about. We have our really cute bunt pan. We have our two silicone Sopat clones, and we have our little ground meat chopper. That's kind of cool, huh? So thanks for joining me for my new series, What's Up Wednesday. Leave a comment down and I will, if you have any questions, and I will answer them as best that I can, or I might even do it next week on What's Up Wednesday. Also, join my Facebook group at facebook.com slash amylearnstocook. Link is in the description. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook, and on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy.